This audio production was made in collaboration with Audible Anarchist. Part 11. Revolution. 119. Productive forces and social relationships, the two different sides of the development of the social individual, appear to be and are only a means for capital, to enable it to produce from its own cramped base. But in fact, they are the material conditions that will shatter this foundation. 120. In the end, egoism is our only friend. In the last analysis, greed is the only thing we can trust. Any revolutionary who is to be counted on can only be in it for himself. Unselfish people can always switch loyalty from one projection to another. Furthermore, only the most greedy people can be relied on to follow through on their revolutionary project. Others less greedy can always be bought off so as to stop short of themselves. 121. The practical necessity of greed and the truth of our statements concerning the failures engendered by greed which is not greedy enough are demonstrated continually in the history of the modern revolutionary movement. Just as in 1871, internalized ideology and a miserable handful of guards were enough to deter the armed communards from seizing the French National Bank at a time when money was desperately needed. So, in 1968, French insurgents, mystified by trade unionist and anarcho-syndicalist ideology, failed to comprehend all the world around them as social property, and therefore theirs, and thus tended to restrict self-organization to their own workplaces. Though greedy and egoistic in their own right, both these movements fell victim to the mystification, the fetishism of privatized territory. In both cases, the revolutionaries were left in paltriness, the pathetic possessors of mere fragments of a revolution, these fragments by their very nature sublated into naught. In both cases, it was a limited greed, in their theory and their spirit, that led to the practical, indeed even military, defeat of these revolutions. The meaning of Marx's I am nothing but I must be everything unfolds its truth fully when we realize that only when we become everything shall we cease to be nothing. 122. Revolution ceases to be as soon as it is necessary to be sacrificed to it. Graffito, Paris, May-June, 1968. 123. The social revolution is when social human beings, social individuals, wake up inside the living, waking nightmare of privatized life. 124. Revolution is the social moment of the collapse of all projections. In the moment of social revolution, the present, the historical present, the presence of history, opens up like the sky. 125. Don't be too afraid. What is left after the collapse of all projections is you, yourself, precisely that in you which alone was not self-projection. Don't panic. You've been lost so long it may take you a moment after the deluge, to find yourself again, there at the center of everything. Après le déluge, moi. After the deluge, you. And yourself will not be found alone. 126. The road to further evolution passes through revolution. The path that leads from survival to life passes through the valley of the shadow of death. We have decided to go, to take the gamble, for ourselves. Do you want to come with us, for yourself? We want you. We need you. You decide. For Ourselves, May 1st, 1974. This has been a production of Audible Anarchist. You can find more Audible Anarchist on YouTube.